Hi guys. Um, I have a really exciting book haul for you today. Um, I recently, well not recently, I guess it's almost a month ago at this point, but I um, ordered a bunch of books from Melville House while they were having their wonderful Thanksgiving sale and they finally all came in. So I'm excited to present to you the Neversink Library Bundle. So you can see I've got 10 books here. Um, one of which I've already read, but I'm really excited about reading them all. Um, the one that I've already read is called The Madonna of the Sleeping Cars by Ma Maurice de Cobra. Um, and it was, it's not a very long book. It, it was a pretty short read. Um, I really liked it though. And this author is, um, I guess he's like referenced by, um, other writers in the late 1800s is kind of like the trash. I don't know. I took it as like he's like the trashier version of literature. I don't know. Um, but I really enjoyed this book, and so I wanted to to know more about some of the other like never sink discoveries or um, other books that they like uh, revive or something like that. So that's one that I'm really excited about. Another one is Faithful Ruslan, which uh, is kind of like a, it's a Soviet commentary, I guess. Um, Grace Eichmeier, um, who channel I will link to below, read this, and she really liked it, so I'll have to give that a try. Um, another one that I'm excited about is The Travels and Surprising Adventures of Baron Münchhausen, which... Uh, it's kind of like a travel comedy or something like that. Um, I'm trying to figure out when it takes place. Um, the Age of Enlightenment, I guess. Uh, oh, 1785. There you go. Um, so, yeah. And what I am excited about in this one is... Let's see. There we go. It has these really great illustrations. So, um, that'll be nice also. And then um, we also have Futility which I don't know if you've noticed, but they all have this kind of like um, cameo silhouette theme, and I just really like that this guy is like banging his head against the wall at the futility of whatever. I don't know. I think that's funny. Um, so yeah. Um, then we also have The Right Way to Do Wrong by Harry Houdini, The Eternal Philistine by Odin von Horvath, um, The Train by... Um, George Simenon, I guess. Um, After uh, Midnight by Irmgard Coyne. The Devil in Flesh by Raymond Radiget. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. And then the last one is the autobiography of a super tramp. So most of these are new titles for me. I haven't heard too much about them or too much about their authors. So if you have um, post a comment and let me know below. It would be cool to hear other people's opinions about that. So that's the first part of this book haul. Um, I also went to a, a, like a thrift shop while I was out in the suburbs a little while ago and picked up The Cider House Rules by John Irving. Um, I've never read anything by John Irving. My roommate really likes him. Um, I think I saw this movie like on an airplane when I was really young and I didn't really understand it and so I figured it was time to try it again uh, now that I'm older and wiser. So that should be interesting. That might be a good like airplane read. Um, I also got A Passage to India. This was required reading for me when I was in high school and I kind of liked it then. Um, I don't really know. I, like, we had to read it. It was fine. I didn't have any big feelings about it. But since then, I have actually been to India, and I know more about the history and um, might have a better understanding of the context of this book. So I thought I would give it a reread. Um, and also, I got this. Like, this is kind of a reason, like, a silly reason to buy a book, but somebody left a picture in it um, from August 2002. And so, I don't know. I bought it because there's a picture in it. It was 50 cents, whatever. Um, yeah, the last book that I have to show you is Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore. Um, 
and it sounds really interesting. It sounds um, kind of like magical, maybe a little bit sci-fi. I'm not really sure. Um, this book was recommended to me by uh, my neighbor who, um, she's like a lot older than I am, but um, she's she's a really interesting person. And um, she was also, she her book club recently read Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk, which I also read for a book club and really enjoyed. Um, so she enjoyed that as well, and we talked about it a little bit, and then she said that her book club was reading this book, um, and she highly recommended it to me. She said it sounded really great. So, um, yeah, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, so that is my book haul. Um, I have no idea when I'm going to read any of these books. I also, this I don't know if this counts as a book haul, but I recently um, downloaded and put on hold a bunch of ebooks for my Kindle. So I've also got like Midnight on the Orient Express, as well as a couple of Michael Chabin books, like uh, Telegraph Avenue and The Wonder Boys. Um, and then like the Man Booker Prize list, like The Luminaries, uh, We Need New Names, Lowlands, you know, all that stuff. So, kind of overwhelmed. I just started reading The Goldfinch, um, and so far I really like that. The writing is just, like, beautiful. I don't know. The way that Donna Tart writes is wonderful. So I probably will do a review of that once I've finished. Um, yeah, but let me know what you're reading. If you've um, had any kind of, like, special discoveries through book hauls or things like that. Um, and then if you've ever heard of any of those titles or read any of the books from the Never Sync Library bundle that I showed, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Um, okay, great. Thanks for watching.